You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm just kind of clearing out some stuff that I've collected uh, recently. One is this puzzle, which I believe I showed in a kind of like a bin day video. This one I have not shown in a video. And these three are actually new puzzles that I got. I really was intrigued by these little mini wood puzzles. So I bought three, uh, and then eh, maybe I'll make one on video. Well, actually, I probably will make one on video. I'm leaning towards the, the elephant for some reason. And then this one is glow in the dark. But I just wanted to kind of show you these vintage wood pieces to this newer wood pieces. And then uh, this little mini master's puzzle from the Art Institute of Chicago. I think I've got a few of those in my collection. So the glow in the dark one, I wanted to try that one and actually put the glow light on and build one. Now when I originally got this puzzle, I will show you. To me, puzzles can be very relaxing. They had put one together, but then the rest of them look like they had not built them yet. So there's these, there's this one, and then, oh wait, there was two in there. This one was stuffed on the bottom, so I don't know which ones They've already tried to build, so I'm gonna do one of those. And then, so that you can see basically what those pieces are. But let's take a look at this wood one, and you'll see how difficult it could be to build one of these vintage wood puzzles. Now this one is a victory. It says, Silent Sentinel Landscape. It's 600 pieces, sizes 20 by 16. No guide picture or illustration is provided with this gold box victory jigsaw puzzle. To do so would destroy much of the absorbing interest. The greatest pleasure is derived from not knowing beforehand the subject which the puzzle will make, and then to see the picture gradually form as the pieces are assembled. And that's what the rest of the box looks like. So, I mean, you see a piece like that and you think to yourself, oh boy, where is that going to go? And then you have this, which kind of almost looks like some kind of fish. And then another, what looks to be a fish. And there is some edgers. So if I was going to build this puzzle, how interesting. I took two pieces out and they were edges right on top. I did not plan that in any way. And then, here, let me just take out some of the unique shapes so you can see. That looks like a leg. That looks like someone's leg. And yeah, it looks like a little sword. And then you have a lot of just regular pieces. Oh, and there's a little corner which gives you the number and a little detailed information there. Here's another edge. Does not go there. I do enjoy puzzles. I find them very relaxing. Unless they're challenging like that. Look at the shapes I'm finding here. Okay, you got a lot of regular pieces. Look at that. Looks like a little boat. And then you have pieces like this, which are just completely cut obscurely. Okay. I'm not seeing much of a duplicate here in regards to they use the same cutting. Uh, that's not the case. And then another animal looking creature. Let me find a few more. Look at that. It's like a squiggly one. Look at this piece. So when I got this puzzle, I had no idea if it's complete or not. So the only way to find out is if I put it together. But it's not the one I decided to build today. Ooh, look at that. Looks like some kind of bomb or torpedo. See all those? There's quite a few. Very cool shapes. All right, enough of this. I may come back to this one and an arrow. Look at that. Okay, so let me get those back in the box. What looks to be like a little tree. I don't know, I just keep finding new things just by digging around. And they're wood. So it is actually a layered wood. And then, or a ply, is what you'd call it. It looks like three plies, a skinny outer with the picture, the wood, and then another ply on the back. 
I think I got most of them. So you just kind of get a good idea on a puzzle like this, the weird shapes. Ooh, another looking bomb thing. Well, it looks like a boot. All right. All right, let's put those away. Very cool. May come back to that one. The reason is because I've had someone ask me, well, you know, is there anything new out there that you have that you could buy? That we could buy? Like, you're, you're not everybody's gonna find a vintage victory puzzle like this. Uh, let's just check out this one real quick and then I'll show you the ones I'm gonna build because I just bought these just because I thought they're very interesting and collectible to me in some way. Oh, looks like someone already built this. I didn't even know. Look at that. They left it. This is the way I found it. That's cool. I did not build it. Interesting to find it in the box. Built. It'll be quicker for me to find out if it's complete or not. This almost looks like it goes here. Yes, it does. This was not staged. I did not do this. Right here, maybe? No. Huh. I don't, it goes, it looks like it's going this way. It looks like this might go here in this corner. And then this is this corner. Like that. And it looks like this. It can't be up there. Huh. Maybe there's more here like this. And I'm just not ready to build it. More edge. Where could this go? Not there. Not there. Maybe this is up here. Yes, look at that. That's cool. Which means this is gonna go here, right? And this is just the white. I would think that would go here. So who likes building puzzles? Hmm, here? Uh, you know, it's so satisfying when that piece finally goes together. All right, well, I wasn't intending on building this one, but at least you get a little reference of the scene on the front. Was there any info on the back? No info on the back of the box. I really wanted to show you the other puzzles because those are kind of currently new puzzles. You could still get them. This one really wouldn't take too long to put together because someone already did most of it. Oh, no. Here. That's the one. That makes the final connection. That's a cool looking piece. Cool. got the brown in it the green in it so what do you do do you look for color do you look for the shape and say all right that piece has to go there I look at this one and say all right lots of the same color it's got to go there and then this is kind of like a an edge with still the white so those are the easiest ones for me to find and then the rest would just be a matter of piecing it together Here's a light. This green one should be easy to find. Green. No. Brick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
No. You would think they'd be easy to find. Huh. Oh, it was in the box. Okay, here's some feet. Someone walking. The rest of the pole. See as the pole goes down. And then a lot of times when I do puzzles, I'll just kind of like take all of the pieces that are four openings. I don't know if there's a word for those. Like four openings, four little things, two little things, three little things. So this is a two. Oh, this looks like this one. No. It's blue. It's got the blue. It's got some green. Green and blue. So now I know I need one that's got the four. Right? So this one is at least a three. So there's no more threes. So it's got to be a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue. I'm curious now if it's complete. Well, there's only one way to find out. Finish it. Something's, something's looking a little iffy. Sadly. I always wonder how people lose puzzle pieces. But not on this one. There you are. So now I know this one is complete. Let me zoom right into that. And then that is the picture. All right, I tell you, let me come back. Let me show you those other three. I'm gonna build one completely. All right, so I forgot I was supposed to show you the glow in the dark one. So now I will do that. And I'm gonna have to time lapse some of this because it's just gonna be a super, super long video. My goal is just to show you these cool puzzles. If you like puzzles, uh, if you're not sure and you've never made a puzzle, just go to like a thrift store or a garage sale. And they really don't necessarily, let's just see. I have to turn the light off to see if they actually glow in any way. Let's see. Yeah, they do. It's really hard to see in this camera. Now, when I, when I look at it with my eyes, it's much brighter than the camera. Let me see. Let me just change one setting here. Uh, let me go here. Let me brighten it up just a little and see if that, that does not help. Does that help? Did that help? Ooh. Ooh. That surely brightened it up. Let's leave it like that, because I had it somewhat like this. So let's go like that. And that really brightens it up. I just started sneezing, too. I don't know. Sometimes puzzles can be dusty. I have a lot of them. And there was a lot that had uh, I find with cat hair in the boxes and stuff like that. So if you have really bad allergies, I would get a fresh new puzzle. See, I got the sniffles now. That looks like that goes to that. That is cool. And so right now I'm just trying to find corners and edges. So I can get a basis for this puzzle. Now interesting enough, because it says 100 pieces, that doesn't mean that that's how many are in the puzzle. There could be a few more or a few less, depending on how the puzzle is cut. All right, so let me just get a basis going here for colors. 
pieces. It's hard not to test things though when you're building a puzzle. You want to just start snapping things together. Okay, there's a nice edge piece. Edge. Let me give you a little more height. That other puzzle's in the back. At some point, I'll just go into time lapse and come back when it's all built for you. Me, I would love to just show you the whole thing, but it's just uh, just not the way it works. Sadly. Okay, I think I've got the sniffles. Most of the edges now. Remember, I really wanted to show you the new puzzles, not these. But I get caught up. My mind says, well, you're here now, I'll just build one, right? So it doesn't look like a huge puzzle if that's just, if that's all the edges. I'm finding more. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little harder to do it in the dark. Okay, there may be a few more edgers in here, but I think I got most of them out. So now I know what I have to work with. It's almost easier to see them like this in this shape than like this. Kind of blends in with the blue. All right, so. I like that. I like the look of that. I have to really look now. I just look for little nuances in the coloring. This one I saw the little blue that I knew right away. A match. Gonna have blue like this. Yes, I got it. Be great to get this turn here. That's an interesting piece. It kind of overlaps into the other piece. So this is a darker green here like this but it's not this one uh -huh. there's a corner this has got a lot of blue Very dark on one side. This one should be pretty easy because it's got the stripes. I must be missing an edge or two. Maybe not. Oh, 
Oh, there was another edge. Okay, so all green. This looks like it could finish this. Okay, so now we got that. And then this coming down to here. We got that. Ooh. Right, I'll tell you what. Let me speed this up now. I won't bore you with it. Because I want to show it built. So I will keep coming back here. It might be over the course of an hour if I step away just to give myself a little break. You know, mentally, sometimes you just got to take a break from a puzzle. I do anyway. But when I get the border set, then I will come back. It will all start to come together soon. That's an interesting one. Oh, this. There we go.
right, there it is complete. How cool is that? Now, does it really glow? Oh, yeah, by the way, did you notice uh, those weren't my hands? There was extra hands in here. Elise came down and helped. Ooh, look at that. It's been charging for a while. Let me light that up again and let uh, you can see it, and then we'll do that again. So overall, I would say that's a pretty cool puzzle. I, might have, I think I've done Glow in the Dark before. It's been a while. I have a few more to show you. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video, so I'll have to speed up that. Uh, we'll see. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Lights up. Ooh, cool. Check that out. I know it doesn't last long, but the charge only lasts for a little while. All right, I got three more to show you and one more to build. This is like the puzzle videos to end all puzzle videos. Now these, you can actually see them. They look pretty cool glowing like that. We're the last three. Now these are brand new puzzles. And I saw them somewhere and I said, those are really unique puzzles. I want to add them to my puzzle collection. I'm going to build the elephant. But let me just show you. Well, I'm going to have to turn the lights back on because it's really hard to see because the pieces are very unique in these. You can't really tell, but the containers or the cases look really cool. All right, so let's just look at some of the pieces and then you can get an idea because they're animal shapes or depending on, you know, what the puzzle is. So let me come back now. Lights back on.
hopefully that was relaxing for you. Let me zoom in. I want to say I have not checked. Oops, sorry. I've not checked the editing yet, but it took me probably an hour. I'll put the exact time so you know how long it takes to build. You know, as you notice, things shift, so you have to kind of just be careful. And basically, I started with the tusks because those were the pieces I... Uh, was able to put together the quickest. I really liked the little bird in there. And then where'd the butterfly go? Butterfly. I forgot where I put the butterfly. Oh, right there was like a little butter, the butterfly. Eh, it's pretty neat. Here's what it looks like in its full size. So that is that. Pretty cool puzzle. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.